that's Sunday. Well, sun's coming up. I'm gonna try and, uh, why is there a mango in here? See, there's too many animals living in this building. Uh, I'm gonna, there's bats and, and mice and living in here. So I'm gonna have to, to take some action to change that. Uh, try and clean my feet up here. I got a lot of stuff to clean up. That's my current challenge. And uh, I've let things get too messy. I've, I've let uh, animals live in the house. I am an animal living in the house. It's a mess. I don't like it. And uh, so I got a lot of work to do. Uh, cleaning up myself is part of the task, but I've got a lot of other systems that are messy. Luckily, there's a lot of systems that work great. Um, having a first volunteer show up tomorrow, I guess. Uh, well, now the pool garden has some of the uh, lettuce greens and, and some uh, celery. It's a weird thing. We don't plant much celery. One excellent surprise with this garden, the pool garden, is it is now completely full of volunteer plants. All the seeds that we, you know, we let the thing go to seed, so there's seeds everywhere. And so we've got uh, lettuces and tomatoes and like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of baby plants in here, just showing up. Because it's a good spot for that. That means that this can also become a natural nursery to just spew out baby plants to everywhere. We can try them all year long. Great news down in the lower rabbit pen. For the first time we're seeing that rabbits are living in the new housing we made. For a while they just ignored it. They, they picked the best one we made and they all lived in a hole under it. We made a big place down there. There were tons of them going there like at night. But for the first time we're seeing that they're out here in these little casitas tambien. So that's pretty cool. They're using the big one too. That's <laughs> so great. I should come down here and get video of them. This is really weird. A tree just kind of disappeared here. I thought it was a rabbit hole at first, but there was a tree here, and it's just all kind of uh ¿Qué tipo de árbol? Un pino. Un pino. And all the other pines here are untouched, and they have been untouched for some time. So it's just a disappeared pine. It got like alien kidnapped or something. This might be the fanciest rabbit house in the world. I don't know. It's got a nice skylight area on top. Um, <coughs> this might be the fanciest rabbit house in the world. It's got a nice skylight on the top. Down below, a bunch of rabbits have made the big hole that goes down into whatever maze or complex they've got. They love it. They, they thump when I come up here. They're threatening me because I'm invading their space. Hi, guys. And it's way back in there. Check out the size of this cauliflower. We got lots of big ones in here. They've done extremely well, despite uh, insect damage on the leaves. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we don't need to fight those insects. The cauliflowers uh, end up really big. So there's a lot of squash back in here. It's been a lot of successes. We haven't put as much uh, work into the gardens this year as some as, as last year, um, but we're still getting a lot of great, uh, great produce. And that's partly because uh, the soil is improving everywhere. Poco poco. We got some peppers in here too. So blackberries doing great. Poco poco. I want to show you a place. It's called the View, which is a silly name for it in a way. Uh, but it's an obvious one. It's there's a view here. It's una vista in Espanol. And. Uh, it's the place every day begins here with the first light comes up hot drink some circus games or yoga whatever motion get the body in motion wake up move there's light so it's an important spot today though we're going to look at some changes to it we need to do some cleanup and fixes we're going to go through that real quick figure out what to do to make this spot be awesome and it's an important task because we're doing that in the middle of the forest and we want to work with nature so that this actual area that we mess with, which we've already started messing with years ago, uh, this area has more biodiversity and, and goodness in various ways than any other. Uh, that's the bigger goal if you want to get lofty. That'll happen. So today though we look at what we have to do to make it be human comfortable, <coughs> protect uh, 
humans from nature, nature from humans, and yes, humans are part of nature, but we're a fucked up part of it. That, oh, sorry, don't mean to curse. So humans are part of nature, and uh, what we do here is each each detail of, of everything we do, uh, building a bench, using a nail, or anything, matters a lot. So it's not a joker task, and it's definitely something people enjoy. A lot of people have had a lot of fun right here at The View. So we'll uh, think together about that. Sometimes uh, people don't quite understand how fragile the earth is. Uh, this is one of the reasons we have people stay on trails, is because uh, the, the dirt on those uh, trail spots gets very compacted. We want to minimize the number of spots that are, that are compacted because there's not a lot of life in compacted earth. Uh, here's an example um, that makes it even clearer. We pulled a vehicle in here uh, just uh, for one day to to pull some logs out up here and uh, you can still see the tire tracks this is uh, probably I don't know a year ago uh, maybe over a year and you can still see uh, see the grooves where the, the soil has been compacted this will heal it'll be fine uh, it was one one day uh, having a heavy vehicle in um, but it's it's a good illustration of, of exactly what what happens even your your feet there's a lot of uh, pounds per square inch uh, on, on those spots and then what happens is if you don't have people using trails and uh, then uh, very quickly the whole area around where people are at gets compacted you see less fungus you see less plants a lot of the native plants are very uh, sensitive and so um, that's why we try and try and uh, keep that from happening you'll see this in in parks in the city uh, if, if where people walk isn't controlled then then it just becomes an almost dead piece of land and it's sort of sad to see